What's up? Good people of the world, welcome back to Let's Write a Fantasy Main Theme, um, or whatever I'm calling the series. So we are creating this slightly jazzy harp thing, and, uh, and I think I like the way that this is. No. It's just that last, I, it needs any fair what's going to resolve. I kind of like that actually. It goes into a whole tiny thing. I feel like that chord wants to go somewhere and I have no idea where it is. That's it, that's where it wants to go. D flat major. this here for common tone. really get lost in the harmonic waters. I feel like there needs to be a chord before this. I can deal with that. Yeah. Nice smooth voice leading with everything there. Don't expect me to explain what on earth that is. <laughs> um, I mean, it's still it's it's functional harmony. I, I'll. I'll I'll say that. I'll, I'll leave it up to you all to argue about how to <laughs> analyze that. Okay, so. Team, check that out. That's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I think the easy thing for me to do with this is to double the note values. Just realize I haven't saved in a while, which is scary. That over there. Yeah, see it all lines up. Well, I have a, I have an interesting idea with this. Check this out. This is fun. This is what what fun this is. So we've got some some yeah. How are we gonna do this? I 
I think we'll do this with uh, them. And then we'll do this DVC. Just load on to two staves on first and seconds. And then we don't need any repetition. <laughs> this is going to look unseemly, but I'm just notating it so that it'll play back right. Split these up. In here. Bottom note. Voice two. Don't need to prepare that. Don't take that in Boeing too seriously. <laughs> okay. I might do like muted strings or something crazy here too. And I might do some like wind doubling with like some soft clarinets or something. Or maybe flutes up an octave. Ooh. Yeah, flutes up an octave, that sounds nice. Um, what am I doing? Consort. Sorry, I'm so excited right now. Cool. And I, I don't like the way that no performer is playing that back. So although this is not the way that I would write it for live players, I'm just going to do massive slurs over all of it. Although at piano dynamic level, you probably could get away with a slur this big. Because remember, the louder the dynamic level is, the more bow that they need to use. And so you can't have really long slurs with really loud dynamic levels. I still feel like the seconds are too loud. Let's try doing this. I swear it's like it's a no performer glitch or something. The second violins are just too loud. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with the heart there. Hmm. 
I have an idea. have to do that. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Like a mental load of that. Dude. Micromanage a bit here. Let's go up to mezzo piano. Oops. That's what I want. And I might actually give this dynamic structure to the strings. Yeah, starts at MP. Wait, what on earth? I did that wrong. Yeah. I think that's just collision stuff happening there. But seriously, though, quite, uh, quite disappointing that I have to mark the, whoa, what on earth? That was trippy. Okay. that I have to mark the seconds down <laughs> of full dynamic level just to get them to balance right. I don't know what that is. That might just be an issue. If anyone has any idea what that is, please let me know. this <laughs> oh I'm so excited I'm so excited and then I'm gonna give it to the flutes up an octave <sighs> and that's such a great Oh, that's such a great place for them to be, too. <laughs> and then I might give this to a bunch of flutes. Take away the consort and all that stuff. And we definitely want them to be up. I might do the lower parts with alto flute. It seems a little not necessary. I mean, I don't know. Some people have contingents with the alto flute, but I love the alto flute. And uh, that's a better wheelhouse. Just to show you, normal, assuming no performance accurate, normal flute. Which is nice, but alto flute in that register. Oh, really nice. <laughs> that is so nice. I think there's a rogue slur down here. No, it's not. It's because of the... Uh... All right, this is getting really... <laughs> I really like that. 
I really like that. Okay, let's figure out how the heck we're gonna get there from here. Like we need to get the accompaniment going from the get-go. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, and then I'll lead up to that part. So... Okay, and then, and then we'll put these lines down here. Let it ring out. I might even drop down the octave, but I like the chillness of it. Did I do that right? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. One, yeah, okay. Hmm. I don't like what the slur is doing to the playback. I think just the in and of itself, the back will be right.
We'll open it up there. The uh, glissando is not going to play back properly, so I'm just going to add grace notes. Because you can control the way that grace notes play back for the beat. Yeah. And hopefully it'll make it sustain. Too much. I might lighten it up over there. Like I said, you don't always need low bass. And this would not be the way to notate it, just use an arpeggio. And most harpists arpeggiate automatically. You, you generally have to notate otherwise. If you want them to not arpeggiate, you have to notate it um, um, before the beat. I might actually want it on the beat, a rhythmic. Let's see. Might have other things help out. <laughs> Let's go back to this. I'm going to mark the left hand down, specifically down a dynamic level. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Okay. Mm, let's see. Dee -doon. Dee -doon. Dee -doon. Dee -doon. Mm. No. I want to get this. Mm. It's the fact that, yeah, that's what it is. I've got an idea here. Try that. I like how 
it thins out, but... Just those little additives. <laughs> I'm really quite happy with that. Okay. So, I think we might have contrabass. I, th I think I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna cheat here and switch to mutes before there's time to put them on because it's I'm, I'm, that's not what I'm concerned about here so here 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 so we don't need to mark these here to do with the low string parts, but... Oh, this is going to be so nice. This is going to be so nice. Mm-hmm. 
think we can deal with this. Might need to mark him down. I think I'll mark them up too later, earlier. I don't know, I kind of like dropping everything out there. I don't even know what the baseline should be there. try something here so let's add back that line <laughs> let's try that it's gonna be a little nuts Ooh, I like that I, I don't think we want the uh the middle of the road. We'll drop him down one dynamic level two. Middle of the road means like standard dominant base rather than triton substitution. Cheating, dropping out. I might do some weird, crazy stuff with the cello line there. Oh, all right. Well, tune in next time to see what on earth I'm, I'm going to do with the cello line there.